Hi, I'm Heather and this is a little introduction to me. I was trying to think of words that I think people might use to describe me. It's quite a tricky one actually. Um, I think probably smiley, uh, quite happy, quite energetic, creative. I think I'm quite faddy. I'm one of these people that gets really obsessed with one thing for a phase and then completely forgets about it. So at the moment I am obsessed with houseplants, um, succulents, cacti, indoor plants. I'm building up a massive collection, I'm learning a bit more about them and I'm trying not to kill them. I have also recently got a bit obsessed with calligraphy, crochet, printmaking, rubber stamping. These are all things that I've done and then sort of forgotten about but hopefully I will pick up again. But there you go, fatty. I have two children, I have five year old twins um, and I'm married and I live in Berkshire. So I'm mad crazy about everything interiors and home related. Uh, I have worked as an interiors journalist since leaving university. So my dream house, it's not the one we live in, that's for sure. Um, although I'm learning to love this house a bit more. We moved from a lovely period uh, terraced house in South London four years ago to this detached 1970s house in Berkshire. I found it quite an adjustment living in a newer house. I mean, I know 1970s isn't new, but I've always lived in period houses, even growing up. So it's been quite weird not having the period features to work with and um, found it quite hard to nail down my style. And my dream house, <laughs> I do love Georgian houses. You know, the symmetry, um, so a nice Georgian house, Roses climbing around the front, um, beautiful period features, lovely big windows at the front. That would probably be my ultimate dream. How would I describe my interior style? Well, I think it's quite eclectic. I like to mix modern things with vintage pieces. Um, I have a lot of stuff from my grandparents' house, pieces of furniture, little knickknacks, and I really like putting them together with contemporary things but we are always on a budget. We don't have a lot of spare cash, so a lot of my shopping is done on the high street. Love nothing more than a trip to Ikea. I'm always popping into B&Q or home base. Next is always good, so I think I like to shop in those kind of places and then give a bit of an edge to our look and make it a bit more individual, a bit more unique with adding in the vintage touches perfect uh, day for me would be just pottering around the house, rearranging stuff on shelves, moving furniture around and generally what my husband might call faffing. I'm also on a mission to find the perfect work-life balance, are we all? I'm a sucker for a self-help book uh, and I love trying anything that I read about that I think might make me happier, might make our lives easier, might make life run a bit smoother trying a juicing diet, some epic decluttering around the house, starting yoga, anything really, I'll give it a go. Where am I happiest? Well, if I'm not pottering around at home, we like to be outside, and outside is where I can relax and I feel most at ease. Maybe because when you're at home you think of all those little jobs or chores that you need to do, but when I'm out of the house then all of that drops away and I can just focus on enjoying life head out to the park, to the playground, to the woods. Now the kids can cycle, we like to go out on our bikes. And we are really big into camping. Last summer we went away for five and a half weeks in our tent, which was amazing. I didn't get fed up with it at all, I could have kept on going. Um, it was a shame we had to come back, really. I hope that gives you a little bit more um, of an insight into me and what I like. And if you like what you've seen, then um, check out my other videos. Bye!